What's up everyone, welcome back to Fisher Hex. In today's video I'm going to show you how to adjust what you see on your controller here on the Apex. Uh, not only am I going to show you how to do it here on the controller, but we're going to go over to the Apex interface, the internet interface, and I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing here, but through the interface there. Alright, so let's get into it. So let's just point out a couple things while we're going through so it makes sense. So the top line here that says ZOPH and then PH here. Now this is for the Zeobit tank that we had running. This is for the pH of the current tank of the 125. Okay, so that's considered line one or probe one. This is zeo temp, and then of course the temperature for the reef tank. This is probe two. Now, let's go to another display. All right, so this is the second display. In the bottom here, these are considered statuses. All right, so I usually only use one display, so we'll just focus on that for right now. Now, since I only use one display, let's go ahead and adjust this. Since we're not using the Zeobit tank anymore, we need to get rid of our probe, our probe, our one, or line one, sorry, uh, the Zeobit stuff, and then probe line two, uh, the temperature. So let's get into it. So go ahead and hit the center button. All right, go down to system. Then you're going to go down to display setup. And then this is the home display. All right, so there's four pages here. We're just gonna focus on page one because that's what we actually only use. <clears throat> so, of course, the clock is enabled, so we'll just leave that. Like I said, remember probe line one, we're gonna go ahead and hit the middle button there. So this um, top line says the line itself is enabled. All right, so the left side, remember we had the ZOPH, okay? And then the right side is the 125 pH. So let's go ahead and since we're changing the ZOPH, let's do, ha do that. So highlight left, hit the middle button, now that will highlight the actual probe itself. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to what we want. We wanna change it to the um, salinity module that we have. So it's, I have that probe, um, excuse me, I have that probe named PPTSG, okay? So we hit uh, the middle button and it brings your uh, highlighted over to the left again. Uh, so basically our line one will display the salinity on the top left and our pH for the 125 on the top right. So make sure you hit OK. All right, so let's go down to line two. It's enabled, remember? And this is the bottom row. Um, the bottom left is Zeobit temp, and again, the bottom right is the 125 temp. Hit the middle button, highlight that. We're gonna change this to just amperage. We're gonna pick one of our amps that we're gonna use. Um, it looks like amp seven is the new temp, so we're gonna do amp three. This is the one that has the majority of our plugins on there. All right, so hit the middle button to save that there, and then of course hit OK, and then you want to make sure you save settings. Now on this, I don't use any of the um, statuses. What you can do is enable this, of course, and you can select what you want it to uh, display on that. Of course, I don't use it because I just like to use the basic stuff. I don't really care about the statuses, but some people do. All right, now that we have everything changed within our settings, you're just going to go ahead and hit save, of course. And then these are the four uh, pages originally that came to the home display setup. And then you're just going to want to go home. We can verify that everything. And again, the top left, we have the, uh, the uh, salinity um, in the 125, the amperage for that one power strip, the one that has a majority of the things attached to it the pH for the 125 and of course the temperature. So this is what I like to display. It allows me to see it at a quick glance and uh, that's pretty much all I need to see. Alrighty guys, now we're over here at the original Apex dashboard. Now this is not Apex Fusion. As, as far as I know of, you cannot do this in Apex Fusion. You have to do it in the original dashboard. Now, to get into the original dashboard, you need your Apex's IP address address, I can't even speak as address. Uh, anyways, uh, your original IP address and then your port number, okay? So you're gonna type that in, all right? And then you're gonna put in your, um, if you haven't already set a password or anything like that, you're gonna do admin as the username and then the password is 1234. That will get you into here and then you can change your password from there, already. So now that you figured out how to get into the original dashboard, go ahead and Go to configuration and device, or sorry, display setup. Now this is the display that you get on your controller, the blue display, all right? So this is what we're gonna be changing. Now we just did page one, if you remember the line, the clock line is enabled. And then pro one, remember we changed it to the PPTSG, and then we have the pH, all right? And then line two, the amps and the temperature. 
And of course we have disabled the um, icons there, the statuses, all right? So let's just go to page two and I'll show you how we'll set up page two, just for uh, shits and giggles here to show you how to do it within this system. So as you can see, page two, the clock is enabled, you know, if you so choose to have that. And then probe one and uh, line one and line two. So we're just gonna get rid of line two probe, all right? So we're gonna do a basic, um, we're gonna do the temperature on the top left and we're going to do the pH, but since it's already there, we'll leave it there, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to use statuses instead of the second line probe. I mean, we do have the S, you know, the um, specific gravity, um, or sorry, the uh, salinity probe. We could use that, but this is just an example. So uh, you can come in here and you can change whatever you want. Since we have, we want to see how the WP4, the WP40s are doing, the heaters, anything you have running, you can see its current status. All right, this is everything that's plugged in. Okay, so you could choose whatever you want. You can have up to eight per line. You can do up to two lines. Um, and then the icon that you select within I, within Apex Fusion will determine what the status icon actually looks like for this device. Okay. Um, so you can go over to, let's just do it real quick, we'll go over to the Apex Fusion. So uh, say we're going to change what the uh, WP40 left looks like, that status bar. So let's go to the WP40 here in Apex Fusion, which is this right here. All right, so we'll just go into settings. And then the icon, see you guys, this is the icon. All right, this is what we would see on the display. So you could change it to whatever you want the icon to be. So say, uh, since it's a power head, uh, I don't really know, nothing in here really looks like a power head. So uh, we'll just do the hourglass, okay? So you would update that. And then that um, would show on the display. And that way you would know that that device is currently running. All right, so if you like, you know, like I said, there really isn't very many to choose from that really makes sense to me. Um, I don't really care too much for them. You could use it for your wireless or something simple like that if you wanted to just do a specific thing in general. Um, but I wouldn't just do a whole bunch of them, uh, like eight in a row, because it would really just be confusing to look at, look at would be kind of pointless. So if you wanted to see the status of like your internet or something like that, you can go ahead and change, you know, one of these to your, um, your wireless and then go ahead and um, put that symbol accordingly. So since we select that for wireless, we would go to our wireless in here um, and we would make it uh, the wireless symbol. So since we're here at the wireless, um, you would change that symbol to here, the wireless symbol. That would make sense. So that would show that your wireless is currently active um, or that that plug essentially was active, actively working on the display if you so choose to use that status. All right, so like I said, I don't really bother with statuses because I kind of find that they're pointless, but personal preference, what you want to do. All right, so again, page one, we have everything set up, ready to go. Of course, waiting for this to load. And um, we're good to go, guys, and that's it. It's very simple stuff, a very simple concept. And um, I know when I was first looking to do this, I really couldn't find anything on it, so I figured I would get this information out so the general public could see, all right? Uh, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and like and uh, comment. Of course, subscribe for more videos in this series. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.